Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card actually comes flat and it will go in a 6x6 six six envelope like that. A little bit bulky in the middle but it will go in. Um, it's just a tube cube rather card with the timeless tulips so I have got I used timeless tulips and I cut lots of them them and them out loads of the leaves out and 20 or 30 odd stems out now I've already done all that because it's going to take me a little while and then I used everything rosy just for the sentiment may your birthday be filled with pretty things. Now I'm going to do this one a little bit different in as all the flowers are going to be different colours. Now I have cut and stuck all the flowers out. I've done pumpkin pie, daffodil delight, um, these are extra ones. I did them in um, bumblebee but I didn't quite like, I thought they were just too dark. I've got blushing bride. And I've got real red. So I thought we'd have a box with different colours in. Anyway, I've got loads of them. And loads of leaves. Which I've already cut out because it's going to take me a while to put it all together. <laughs> Alright. So for the box part, I'm going to use... Just dropped paper, hang on. All right, I'm going to use old olive. Let's move this out of the way. And this is five and seven eighths by eleven and three quarters. I have got some DSP. Now this is that shiny stuff, shimmery stuff. I haven't got no DSP for this out of this catalog yet. I have ordered um, Forever Greenery. I'm just waiting for that to come. So I'm using this for now. Um, so this is five and five eighths by two and five eighths, one of them, and I've got three at two and five eighths, two and five eighths by two and five eighths square. So I've also got three. Of these they're one inch by three and seven eighths yeah one inch by three and seven eighths and these are for the inside bars I've also got some one inch strips by two and three quarters these are to cover up the stems I don't know if you can see as you can't see my stems Ooh. Let's come on down. My stems on this. Oh, gonna have to fix that in a minute. So that's what that's for, just to tidy it up, make it look tidy. So first of all we need to score this. So with my scoreboard and me standing up because can't do it sitting down. 
my school tool and this and ooh, going out right now you want to score this at two and seven eight no this way first and you score this at three inches all the way down and then with the three inch lock at the top you want to score this at two and seven eighths all the way down and five and three quarters to the three inch line so only to the three inch line and then eight and five eighths eight and five eighths again just to the line and then ten and a half again just to the line because we're going to cut this off and rather than waste it having score lines down it we haven't we can use that again use it on a different project right oh come back in to do is cut no nearly with the piece that hasn't got a score any score lines in it cut up that score line and then you want to cut it all off so go right up until where you score all the way down you could I suppose do this bit on your trimmer put that to one side don't need that no I didn't take the score marker. There we are. That's that. Now with my snips, all I'm going to do is just just take that edge off a bit, and the same there. Just miter it a bit. And then we're going to fold the card. stick that to there and that is our card done but before we do that we want to stick no we don't getting ahead of myself right I want to glue this edge right best way to do this is like that There we have our cube. 
Right, the next thing we want to do is take our 1 inch by 3 and 7 eighths and our scoreboard again. I will just stay seated for this. Right, and you want to score half an inch at both ends on all three of them. God, it is so hot here. I think it's the warmest day of the year so far. Oh, and by the way, this was not my idea. Let me just get up. Pinterest. And this came from craftingkblogspot.com. So it's there. Right, these we need to burnish each end. When I made the Blackberry Bliss one, I didn't give enough on each end. I only did an eighth of an inch, I think, instead of quarter of an inch. I think that's why it's come unstuck. Then we need to grab our box and glue these in there, one at a time. So this one I'm going to put in that way, that way, and I'm going to push the folded bits up to the front so it gives us just a little gap. Glue both ends. And glue it in place. Now you can press it down like that and it will just automatically fold with the card. That's one in. The second one I'm going to do from the back. So that's going to go in that way, like a U. And this one's going to go in just on the back. Press it down. Tell you what, I did make that mistake of not doing these wide enough than that other one because they have gone in so much easier. Right, this one it doesn't matter which way you put it in. As long as you get an even space between the front and the back. 
I would say that's about even, not very straight. And there we have it. And that's our braces to glue our flowers on. <coughs> so next we want to glue our paper in before we do anything else. A bit down the middle. So I'm just going to slide this in. Place it down like that. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then we'll just pop some papers on the front and side. Oops. Now if you're using directional paper just make sure you put them all the right way. Don't um, mess them up and put them the wrong way. I have given this quite a big green border on purpose because I didn't want to cover all the um, old olive up. Right. So there is our box. Oh well done. Now, you can, but I haven't put, cut a piece, put a piece of white card, let's cut a piece. Right, so we want that to be about there. And this will be should be two and five eighths it is by for five and five eighths and that'll go on the back like that so let's pop that on that's just so you can write your message on the back like that Scrap of white. No trouble getting it in. Right now, then, grab our tulips. Let's just get all the tulips together. Get rid of all the leaves for now. Right, we want our big tulips. Now we've got to think what colour we want to put on the front. I was actually thinking a nice white one, a uh, yellow one, and a whether this is a pink one or an orange one. I think we'll do a pink one. 
so we'll keep them two to one side so that we don't use them all and then what we want to do is line that up with that we mustn't go past the top and the left hand side and I'm going to snip that there so I'm going to put three big tulips on the back row so I'm snipping them all ready and then two medium tulips so the medium ones are these ones and a yellow let's put a yellow and a pink like that that's how we're going to arrange the back so I need to cut these as well did line it up and glue the last inch Now as I'm moving along I'm also going to be adding leaves so just glue the front part and part of the leaf and add that in. Now it doesn't matter if the leaf goes over a bit because um, that is not It's not sticking over the edge when you lay it like that or that way. It won't have nothing sticking over the edge. Right. Um, no, orange one in the middle. So I don't want it. It is very fiddly, I must say. And then grab some leaves. By the way, these leaves I did stamp out in um, old olive and um, Old olive and mossy meadow, and I'm gluing them to the back of the stem and the other leaf when I go up further. So, this one we can actually go over the edge. it down on like a slant and we were going to put a, a yellow one in here oh, I'll never put a leaf let's put some leaves in This one in there. I 
and this orange one. Oh no, I went wrong there. Never mind. And we can add another leaf to the pink one. You see what I've done? Right now to build up the next row we want the medium size leaves, uh, tulips. I've got no yellow ones, pink ones. Right, I've got a big yellow one and I'm going to stick that right in the middle from there. But we've got to cut off that part and we're just going to stick that in the middle and stick some leaves on it. on each side and then we're going to I'm going to put this red one this side didn't know I was a flower arranger couple of these down right put this red one there again with some leaves around the edge of it I don't know how much of this you can see me do but I hope you can get the gist of what I'm doing and that one can go there Again, leaves. Hope my fan isn't spoiling your the video of this, the hearing of this, sorry. Audio. That's what the word I was looking for. Right, I'm going to cut this one. I'm trying to remember what colour tulips were. I think I'd remember being visiting um, the tulip fields in Holland. Mind you, that was many, many moons ago. When I was a child. Even though we lived in Holland for three years. Um, 
I don't think my husband and I went. my youngest daughter in Holland. Right. Another leaf on there. All this is doing is just filling in the gaps. See that? That's looking quite nice actually. Do like the different colours. Right, now then, let's see what other big ones we've got. We've got to put a couple of little ones in here. There's one, and what colour can we put there? Let's put a pink, a little pink one. So just... All I've done is just added that up. I've got a bit hanging down, so I'm just going to snip it. do this front one. We need to bring them down a bit lower. So I am going to cut some off. Oh, cut, cut quite a bit off there. Oh, three of the bigger ones. And then we want at least three of the smaller ones. Right, we're going to put the pink one in the middle this time. And a couple of leaves on that. on this side with
a leaf and a leaf there and this yellow one can go Always get one that doesn't want to stick, don't you? And then let's add some of these little ones. I must say, I am liking this with the different colour leaves, the uh, flowers. Looking quite nice. Now we could just add a few of these little ones on the front. No, I won't do that. But what I will do, which I did on the other one, is add leaves along the front going anyway in any direction I think I overcut but way too many Doesn't matter, I'm not complaining. One more. Ah. I think that looks really pretty, all them different coloured tulips. And then we'll put this yellow one and this pink one on there. So we need to cut them stems a bit. <coughs> Oops, I don't want to go over too much. And some leaves.
Right, I'll leave the rest of the leaves until after we've done the sentiment because I haven't stamped that yet. Right, let's put that to one side. Put the lid on my glue. Make a space. Grab a scrap of paper, card, my stamp, and we're going to stamp this in red. Real red, Ugh, she says. Pretty label punch, we should punch it out. Uh, <clears throat> get some dimensionals. Like having not having one in the middle, got a tiny one. Got to have your support in the middle, or it will sag. Oh, and this right way round will go. On there, just like that. And that is nearly our card complete. We just put an extra leaf in. This one will do. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see because all the you can see all the that way, all where the stems are. Now to tidy that up, that's what these little bits are for. And I will place them over there, glue them over, and it will just hide and you know, tidy it up a bit and add a little bit of strength to the bits that we have cut that the flowers are hanging on to. Glue on my fingers coming off when I rub that. That's two. And the last one on. I 
I mean these bits of card are only from what I've had when I cut up um, they were in my scrap box actually but if you don't have any old olive you can always cut them up because that you just need to trim a little bit off and cut it an inch just do it three times and then you'll have enough to look how tidy that is now because you can't see the stems there the only thing is I didn't do one for the leaves but I can always make one now right one inch and just trim it a little bit because we know that it'll be too wide and that's it all looking nice and tidy Oof. inside and that ladies and I know it's all ladies I've been had watching because YouTube tells me that is how I made my box of flowered cards so which one do you like best multicolored or plain colored I think I like the multicolored well if you like what I've done please subscribe and if you Click on the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.